Sometimes they're heavy. Oh, your phone came, Tyler. Yes, it did. Get <laughs> <laughs> in my hands. All right, is everybody ready? Because I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Next two years, here we go. Oh my gosh. In your hands right now. Oh my gosh. April 30th, 2019. Dear Elder Webb, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You are assigned to labor in the Ecuador Galilee. <laughs> <laughs> Served and I think Gwelik Wheel West Mission. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should report to the Provo Missionary Training Center on Wednesday, July 10th. Oh! So I'm just making some mac and cheese for dinner. But as many of you probably heard, I received my mission call yesterday and I opened it yesterday. And I'm headed to Guayaquil, Ecuador. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So basically I'll be headed there for two years starting I'll be heading into the training center. It's called the MTC Missionary Training Center on July 10th. And then I'll be there for about six weeks and I'm, I'll be learning the Spanish language, which I already know because I took four years of in high school. Um, but I'll just get better at it because I've kind of forgotten it. And then I'll go out to Ecuador, hopefully. And then I'll be there for two years and I'll just be teaching people there the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's gonna be an amazing experience. I'm so excited for it. Just got off my shift here on Thursday at work, Sub-Zero. Just eating some ice cream that I made, basking in the sunlight. Such a beautiful day here in Provo, Utah. Grateful to be here. It's amazing out. That place is called the underground. It's kind of hidden and secret to me, so I'm not gonna reveal the location of it. It's an awesome place. I think it's meant for like parties and receptions. There's ne never anything going on down there, so it's awesome. So we're out here boarding the Provo Canyon with my cousins and their roommates and Andrew, my brother. Oh, doesn't get much better than this. It's beautiful. Walking home from work right now, it's like midnight, 12.15 I think. For some reason, all I can think about is the dancing man or the smiling man story. For those of you who know me, I may have told you this story. It's one of my favorite haunted scary stories. The most chilling, terrifying part about it is that it's 100% true. To give a really quick rundown, basically, it's about a guy who's walking the streets at night just like I am on the sidewalk and he sees a man this man stalks him and he's just got this, he's just looking up in the sky with this creepy, 
smile on his face. There's a video on YouTube you should all go watch called, I think it's The Smiling Man. I look back and I think there's gonna be a man standing right there in a suit, cartoon dancing at me. It's just scaring me right now. It's very random, but have a good night everyone and be careful walking the streets alone. Ben here, we're at the duck pond at BYU. Can you guys tell me, does the physics of that even make sense right there? I mean, the duck has its head turned at a 180 degree swivel and its beak is in itself. That does not make much sense. He just caught one of the turtles. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but it is kind of cute. So it's raining out here, but we're here in Provo. We got Justin Valentine right here. So what do you do? Uh, I play hand pans. I attempt to build them. Hopefully that'll be come to fruition by the end of the year. And uh, I travel and spread the love, man. Yeah, this guy's awesome. Just spreading amazing music. Hand pans are so beautiful. Thanks, thanks, man. Yeah, no worries, man. My pleasure. <laughs> I did, did that. that? <laughs> I did that. That's mine. Russia.